tells us that we're different from the world and that our talk and our actions ought to reflect that we are citizens of the kingdom of God. In other words, we got to put Jesus on display for the rest of our time journeying here in this life. Call your attention to Matthew chapter 5. And we're going to look at verses 13 through 16. My brothers and sisters, the Bible tells us that there are many names or several names that are attached to those who have put their faith in Jesus Christ. And those names or those titles also include a responsibility. Like in John 15 and 5 where Jesus says, I am the vine and you are the branch. God won't leave it in your hands because God will use somebody else. But if you don't be a witness, you will be accountable to God because he gave you the salt on the inside. He gave you the light on the inside. So it would behoove you and me to be salt and light. Be salt and light. We are agents of the kingdom of God. Yes. Listen to me. What's going on this weekend? What's going on right now with this unite? Around. Right to unite? Yeah. We can't hate because they hate. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now we stand up for justice, yeah. Yeah. but the reason why they hate because they have no light in them. That's right. That's right. That's right. I, I don't care what Republican quotes the Bible. They can quote from Genesis to Revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if actions yeah. don't follow them, they have no light in them. Listen to me. Citizens of the kingdom, they have a certain attitude and characteristic about them because of who's on the inside. That's why they can be salt and light. Yes. Listen to me. Don't 
give in to the temptation to be quiet. Amen. Amen. Don't give in. I know the temptation is there. It's for, it comes for me too. Yeah. All of us are tempted at times. Yeah. Do I really want to yeah. risk this friendship? Do I really want to risk this relationship? But when you look at the grand scheme of things and that eternity is in the balance for them, I love you too much not to say anything. I love you too much not to live the life of Christ in front of you. Be salt and be light. Don't dim your light. Dimming your light could mean this too. I compromise to do what the world does. I I posted something maybe a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram, just a little question. I asked, should a Christian, should a Christian go to a Beyonce concert? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Uh, I, I just said. Jesus said we're what? Salt yeah. and light, right? Yeah. We should have no participation in things that are ungodly, right? right. Everything is not ungodly. Right. There are some souls that are just good souls. Yeah, right. There are some movies that are just good movies. Right. But there are some artists, some songs, some movies who say talk, their lyrics, the action in the movie are contrary to what this is. Yeah. Yeah. If there's nudity, Come on, Come on, if there is profanity, yeah. if there is sexuality, right. you either have to do one or two things. You have to ignore the Holy Spirit. Mm, I ain't gonna listen to you. I'm just gonna go, mm, cause the Holy Spirit is gonna prick the heart. If you're saved, the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. So either you gotta ignore, or you either don't go. Listen to me. Being light and being salt, it doesn't mean that we're governed by a set of rules. Don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that. But it simply means this. If I'm going to influence the world for Christ, I have to ask myself what I do and what I, what I participate in. Does it glorify Christ first of all? And does it draw me closer to him? Or does it push me further away from him? Because Here's the danger. Going to anybody's concert, going to any movie, will not take your salvation. Right, 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 right. But what it will do is hinder your witness for those who are not saved. And that's precious to the heart of God. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. Let your light shine. Don't hide it under a bush. Put it on a lampstand. And let God maximize you. Amen. Let him maximize you. And he'll bless your life. You will see the difference in people that are around you. Yes, you will make enemies. I promise you that. But on the other side, you'll gain true brothers and sisters. You are here to make an impact. Yes. God didn't just save you and want you to sit idly on the sideline until he called you home. He wants you to be actively engaged in kingdom work. Amen. And to do that, you have to be salt and light, influencing and being a witness. You can't be light and salt without a relationship with him. So if there is anyone here that you do not have the assurance of that relationship with Jesus Christ, that saving relationship, 
this is the time. What a perfect opportunity for those that are here. Your relationship with Jesus Christ is secure. But yet, as I was preaching, you heard God speaking to you. Not me, you heard God speaking to your heart. You know that there are areas in your lives that you have not been the witnesses. You have not been that salt and that light that God is calling you to be. Why don't you come and let's pray together. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for convicting our hearts. For you know us better than we know ourselves, Lord. You know us better than anyone else does. Lord, you shine the light in our hearts and show us those areas where we are lacking in. Holy Father, we thank you that you don't show us to crush us, Lord, but you show us so that we can commit those areas of weakness to you, God. Lord, we want to be better witnesses for you. We know the Holy Spirit wants us to be better witnesses. So, Father, we pray to you right now, God. I pray for my sisters who have come, Lord, saying they yield and they acknowledge those areas in their lives that they see that they can be a better witness for you. Lord God, will you touch them in that area? Will you encourage their hearts? Will you strengthen them, Father? Strengthen my sister, Lord God, in that area. Strengthen my sister in that area. Encourage my sister to be a bold witness for you in spite of what others are saying. Lord, for all those that are in their seats, God, you may be speaking to their hearts too, Lord. Will you encourage them, Lord, in those areas that they need to be stronger witnesses for you? We thank you, God, for hearing us. And we count it done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, give God a hand. Clap and pray.